Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler. Behind me is the Ohio River here in Southern Illinois. Dodged raindrops all day today and finally got a chance to do a little bit of fishing. It's been a very rainy weekend. And uh, we're gonna be doing some bank fishing tonight on the Ohio River. So stick around, let's see what we can come up with. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to be doing some bank fishing tonight right here on the Ohio River. I'm a little bit downstream of the new Olmstead Lock and Dam. What we have here, we've got some mooring pylons behind us. I really don't know what we're, what we're looking at right here as far as the bottom structure. Uh, I know that we do have a lot of debris in the water right here. And I know that we've had a lot of fish. Uh, you can tell there's a lot of fish up extremely shallow. I'm looking, seeing bait fish jump just right along the shore. But uh, I've got some fresh shad that's been on ice. I caught it last night. Pretty good sized gizzard shads. I think I may have one or two bluegill in there. So we're gonna give it a shot just with some cut bait. Uh, nothing too fancy, just some Carolina rigs. The Ohio's running a little bit better now than it has been, uh, just because of the amount of rain that we've had in the past few days. So we're gonna give it a shot, see if we can't come up with some fish, guys. So let's uh, get started here. All right, guys, we've got both lines in the water now. Uh, this one over here, it's got a standard Carolina rig, a uh, three ounce no roll sinker, and it's got a the front head quarter of a gizzard shad, good size gizzard shad. This one over here has got similar rig, only it's a Sandy Cooper rig. It's got the float on the uh, on the leader. Uh, this one's got a piece, about half of the body on it, hooked up. Uh, it just something rung the bell on it a second ago. It's not quite as far out into the river but anyway guys i'm gonna chill out here in my uh, fold up chair keep an eye on these rods i've got bells on both of them and uh we'll see if we get something i don't i don't like that that's called bad moon rising right there <laughs> might be a skunk moon i don't know <laughs> all right guys <coughs> We got our first hookup of the night. It's playing with the bait. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be a gar. And speaking of swimming right over there. No. Look at that little blue cat. Barely, barely hooked. Let's see if I can show you guys that. Look how barely hooked he is. That's a fish that really didn't want that bait. Oh my goodness. Guys, he is hooked in the skin of the nose. Look at that. Take that right out. Healthy little blue. Good, good, good eating size. Perfect eating size. Now see that there's a fish out there. Watch this. Ah, it scared him. Didn't do what I wanted it to do. So let's score one for the Carolina rig. Take my bell off. I don't want to send my bell off flying into the wild blue yonder. We're going to send that back down towards that barge. There we go. Look at that, guys. He went very deep. We got our bell put back on there. We got our line out there good and tight. We're ready for another one. So we're not going to get skunked tonight, guys, but uh, <laughs> as you saw, that was, uh, he wasn't hooked all that great. I don't know how you hook one in the top of the nose. That's a new one on me, especially right there in that skin. Look at that. Uh, 
can't believe you that one. He didn't get that one. But he didn't get our bait, I bet, either. Nope, we kept our bait. Let's put that one back out. You guys saw that dancing around, same as I did, so... Alright, looks like we got our... Got our line taut. Put our bell on that one, too. There's our skunk moon starting to come out from behind the clouds, guys, so... Uh, we we'll see what becomes of that. This barge has been out here working for an hour now or more. And uh, so we'll keep an eye on things and hopefully come up with a few more fish. But uh, hey, we're not getting skunked. All right, guys, it's a little bit better fish. It's only been a few minutes since we uh, pulled that last one out. Oh, man, that one just went. We may have doubles, guys, because that one just went completely slack. Something's picked it up. Another cat? All right. Another blue. Let's check on this one real quick, guys. All right, nothing on that. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Look at that. Woo. Right, go. You're mad. You're feisty. <laughs> Alright guys, we ain't gonna keep him out long. He's he's ticked off. But uh we're starting to get some bites, guys. There's a second one. He's probably three or four pounds. See ya. And off he swims. Whew. He got me dirty. Everything else. I'll call you right back. There's my wife, guys. <coughs> I don't know how she does it, but she has a gift that allows her to know exactly when I don't want her to call. Like I'll be shooting a video or something like that. Be right in the middle of a good take and the phone rings. So, all right guys, we got our lines tight. And we'll call my wife back, find out what she wanted. Probably gonna probably just call them and tell me her and my daughter ain't coming out here to bank fish. I don't think, I don't know what we have. Yeah, we, yeah, we got them. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, first one of those for the night. No river gar. Look at him. All right, come on, river gar. Oh, man. Are you hooked? Yes. All right. Well, you're going to have to wait. I don't have any pliers right now. All right. Let's go get a pair of pliers. I don't think I have any big pliers, so this is going to be real fun, guys. That's what I got. Oh. Guys, this will either go really well... And you guys are going to see it now in the middle of the bank fishing the Bad Moon Rising video. Or this is going to go extremely poorly. And, uh, oh, you bet. It made me lose my bell. You and I are going to fight. I'm here. Little river gar. Yeah, got it. Whew. 
know for sure if he was gonna. All right. Goodbye, River Gar. Goodbye, River Gar. Goodbye now. And he goes away. We're out of our timer. It went off right when I hooked that, so we're gonna bring this one in. This that one with that little shad head we've already caught a fish on. So we'll rebeat we'll rebate that with something new. That's weird. Look at a leader out there a mile. We'll feed those. Whoever wants to come up real shallow, we could eat. So let's get us. Oh, I got a bluegill in here somewhere. There's a bluegill. Let's cut that up. We we'll use about half a bluegill this time. So, uh,. There's just a big old bluegill head on there. Let's send that one out. Get real in these line. I didn't realize that or I wouldn't have brought it down here today. Or at least I'd have re-spooled it. <laughs> It's the red. There you go. My battery died right whenever this happened. <sighs> big fish got away? Yeah, big fish got away. I got to see him. What was it? Gar. Saw him right there at the end. He was a big old gar, giant gar. Well, he probably wouldn't hook that great then. They don't usually hook up that No. Great. Not that one that was hooked. One a minute ago was hooked up pretty good. I just got done saying they didn't like bluegills around here. And the rod with half a bluegill on it doubled over and just took off. And uh, as you saw, I lost that fish up there at the bank. I don't know if you guys were able to see it or not. Uh, pretty good size river gar so the gar have definitely starting to move in and are in our spot here but uh, that's okay because I'm getting ready to call it quits for tonight anyway but uh, we're gonna give it another few minutes right out this timer and then we'll uh, we're gonna call it quits unless just something just miraculously miraculously starts happening so see you guys in just a bit hopefully we'll get another fish Alright guys, it's midnight and uh, I'm going to head back to the house now. But we did have a pretty good uh, night out here bank fishing. One of my better nights that I've had for a while. And uh, come up with a couple catfish, which is what we were after. Come up with a gar and then lost a pretty good sized gar right there at the boat. Or right there at the bank. But uh, all in all, we defied the big full moon being a skunk moon. So... Uh, I'll take that as a win any day. Anytime you can night fish out there with a full moon right overhead and still come up with some fish, it's got to be a win. Uh, I will pose a question for you guys down in the comment section on this video. How has your luck been? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what's your experience fishing under a full moon like that. Leave it down in the comment section below. I'd like to see... Uh, how everybody else kind of gets along with these things but uh that's about all i got for this one guys i'm getting ready to hit the interstate and get back home and uh it's going to be one o'clock before i get home so uh guys we'll cut this one short hit that like button hit subscribe and if you're on a mobile device hit the little bell it's located on the lower right hand corner of your screen and it'll give you a notification anytime i post a new video or go live guys i think the spawn's over i think the cats are going to start biting again and uh man i tell you what i could sure uh i'll sure be happy to see that so guys until next time we'll catch you out on the water
Appreciate you watching the Weekend Angler.